Hello friends and welcome. You are watching episode number 28 of our Watford Skellington Railroad Transport Fever Let's Play. My name is Sean and I'm glad you're joining me as I play today. When we left off it was 1997 and we were trying to figure out how to get these roads cleared up and look at that I put a big old tunnel there. Half a million dollars to build that tunnel I was really surprised but you know what we've got 3.29 billion dollars who cares about spending a half a billion half a million dollars to build a tunnel didn't really hurt anything and hopefully this will help uh smooth out our traffic flow i don't like what is going on here why are they making those turns doesn't seem like doesn't seem like they should be taking that tack uh, do I need to, um, maybe I would be better off to have this one, this intersection, I spend all day trying to figure out how to solve this. All right, let's slow it down. Let's pause it, actually. How about I delete that, delete that. How far up this can I delete? I delete that and that and that. Of course, there's a vehicle in the way. Um, connect those up. Get those vehicles out of the way. All right. Now, you're going to go through, straight through like that. Very good. And you're going to branch off as early as I can. Apparently, that's too early. How about right there? No, you won't do it. Oh wait, it will do it. So, <clears throat> excuse me, how about... I kinda wanna give it enough room to where it's not gonna immediately need to go to another intersection. How about like that? Let's see how that works. Probably not gonna work any better, to be honest. That is a really weird setup. Does this still connect up. Oh, so that's probably why the food isn't going anymore because now it's it's too far disconnected from the train station. If I reconnect this up, it's uh All right, but at least at least we know what's wrong. So now that's going to drive our food demand back up, but I'm worried that it's going to crowd up all the traffic through here. I guess we're just going to have to deal with crowded traffic, you know what I mean? So do you connect back up to the train station now? Looks like you do. All right. Unintended consequences. And you're connected to the train station, right? You are. Okay, and you're definitely connected to the train station. So, okay, let's see if that helps. But we still don't have green coming out of this one. Potential zero. Why are you saying that you're not even connected to a line? Gosh, we had so much. Uh, we had so much going on with these trains, they were so profitable. The oil trains are still doing really good. But these, uh, well, this one's doing okay, I guess. <sighs> this whole thing, ugh, what a mess. And, and look at all this road traffic, the passenger traffic. Well, at least we've got our own uh, We've got the, the bypass lane set up, so who cares? Who cares about those car driving jerks? Oh, what the what? Why so much traffic in here? They're all waiting to get onto that road leading out of town, huh? How could I speed that up? because it seems like it's just like road traffic that's backing it up. Um, I don't even know if I use that stop. <laughs> I 
Was that just a... It's already seems to be clearing up, so maybe that was just some weird... Uh, some weird result of all the fiddling around I've been doing. Well, that's good. So it seems like we're piling up a little more cattle in there. Uh, sure would be nice to get the wheat moving out of here, though. Oh, I know why it's not, because the same reason. That's too far away from the, um, too far away from the, uh, from the, uh, drop-off area. Um, maybe if I connect it like that. Now it connects up. I just want to make sure that these trucks continue to use this road while these trucks use this road. Okay, good. Good, good, good. All right, solved that problem. Oh, that was really frustrating because, you know, it's like I knew it was working before. You'd think uh, by now I would be better prepared for that sort of thing. Um, but, you know, you never know what's going to end up causing you problems. Uh, but those should, those should carry a lot of stuff. Um, how about we look on the other end of our tool line because uh, that seems to be the cause of most of our headaches and see how the steel and planks and so forth are going down here. Looks like we have plenty of, or not plenty, but you know, some of each waiting down in this area. And the steel production, oh, 74. Terrible. Just terrible. How are we going to get that to go up? Maybe just maybe just getting that plastic running again will be enough. Um, although it looks like these vehicles are not keeping up with uh, with getting their deliveries out. So which what, what uh, path does this line follow? Picks up there and then drops off there, which is all reasonable. Very crowded in there, uh, but that's okay. Um, I think I should go ahead and replace these vehicles with the with the longer truck, so they'll they'll have a better throughput. I'll do that, and it could be just that stuff was piling up. Now stuff is still piling up in here. Um, I mean, I I guess I could try to fit more vehicles. Now wait a minute, why why is it dropping tools off? There, I don't like that. We need to get rid of that. Sorry, Skellington. Wait a minute. That's not dropping tools off there. What was it dropping off? Oh, shit. What was it dropping off there? I guess it doesn't matter. Let's, uh, let's go back to looking at this plank line. And, uh... Yeah, road vehicle, no path. Uh, yeah, that's because we're going to remove the green from there. There we are. Now, I don't like that it's going to go back to using this road instead of using the bypass road, which is something that I really wanted. But maybe it'll, maybe it'll be all right. Weird. What was it dropping off there? Tools or something? But where would the tools be being taken to? I guess it could have been doing some weird uh, hopping uh, kind of a thing. I don't know why these vehicles are all jammed up? Oh, well, probably because of, like all the traffic there. I definitely could redo this whole thing to make it a little friendlier for, um, especially like, like these guys, they're just dropping off. They shouldn't be picking anything up here. So they don't even need a, uh, they don't even need the, uh, the depot, uh, or, you know what I mean, station. They, they could be going just with like a bus stop and that would be fine. But I don't know. I mean, 
the, there's a little bit of congestion down here, but it's not awful. I'm gonna I'm gonna just ignore it. Halifax is doing real good. Look at those uh, fancy new buildings that are popping up over there. So commercial buildings. Wow, really cool. And here, oh, so many passengers. Halifax and Howden, really. Well, I'm glad I didn't get rid of the um, the extra train on that line. But we can't really get any more trains on that line. It's pretty pretty packed as far as p pedestrian, or, I mean, uh, passenger service is concerned. Beaudley, also doing pretty good. Close that down. Oh, we've got our final locomotives. It's the year 2000. Wow. Um, that's pretty much the last locomotives we will ever uh, ever need to use. Oh, I didn't even know you got fancy new train stations in 2000, but never any change for our uh, for the uh, uh, cargo stations. So is it just aesthetic? Is that the only difference? Well, I kind of like the look of the old stations. I actually like the look of the super old classic stations, but those are, I guess, becoming rarer treats. Hmm. Um, let's look at our train lines. We'll go with all and turn off visible only. All right, well, these guys we can turn off. We don't need to upgrade those anymore. They're all upgraded. I, I thought I turned you to no. There you go. Although, you can stay at 100%. Yes, that's fine. Because we're not going to need any more upgrades on those either. I don't think there's going to be any newer vehicles. How old are these trains? So, we can let these guys go. I think until they uh, until they hit their new level. Oh, This is the food line, right? So, we're going to set vehicle... Uh, What's the difference between these two? This one just is more powerful. <laughs> wow. Uh, they, I don't care about the additional power, to be honest. I guess we're going to switch back to diesels on these. Because I can't really run long enough, uh, long enough trains. I'd have to remodel. I mean, I'd have to do some serious remodeling to get that set up. And uh, these guys have eight. Well, I mean, I've, they've already got eight, so... Oh, well, I guess I do need to set up the, the thing in its entirety with eight tankers. Hmm. I'll take care of most of this between episodes. I just kind of wanted to look, and I, I still didn't even see what the difference was between, uh, uh, between the... Um, like if, uh, shit, what am I trying to say here? Oh, the locomotives, what the speed difference is between the locomotives. We're not going to get any better uh, local vehicles, are we? So we'll just set that up and turn you to 100% yes. This one can also go with the, uh, that one. No, wait a minute. Okay, that is set to the right vehicle. I thought for a minute I had it set to use an older vehicle, which would be ridiculous, of course. All right, let's see here. We'll, we'll just check with this one. So this one is currently using the 87 mile an hour one. And here it would use the 99 mile an hour vehicle. And these go 81. 124, wow. So I could use, all right, let's do that. 124 for that one. All right. Cool. All right, that's our new standard uh, passenger train. So I'm gonna replace that one right away. Um, all right, so like I said, I'll, I'll worry about that.
after this episode and before the next episode. It'll be set up a little more correctly then. Um, these are starting to back up a little bit, but that's okay. How's this line doing in general? How's the line doing in general? There you go. Finances. Train's still profitable, so good. A lot of food piled up at that last stop. Here we've got a lot of fuel trying to get to whatever Bentham. A lot of fuel lined up at here too. So this must be a pretty profitable train. Oh yeah, look at all that money coming in. See, like, this one is losing. How's it losing so much money? Just running empty for the most part? Uh, all of our train lines seem to be doing all right. Look at that, $29 million. So this one's barely making half a million dollars. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I take that back. That's that same food one, but that was... Oh. Yikes. I don't even want to look at that. Um, it seems to be producing a lot more. Ro Wait a minute. How tools? Ah, oh, shit. So now it's going to have these... Oh. Hey, you were supposed to solve the... Uh, I thought that traffic problem was supposed to be solved here. You definitely seem to have made it worse. Um, where are you at? Let's add another stop on here. Oh, there we go. And... Um, wow, are you guys the only vehicles that are causing those problems like these ones are coming back through here but that's not really the end of the world vehicle still jammed up in here that's for sure and they're going oh, they're going all over the place hmm I don't know what I'm going to do with this because this is, uh, yeah, this is definitely a traffic nightmare down here and that's hurting all of our stuff overall. I mean, there's got to be a way to redo that whole thing. Getting a nice straight line, road line, through through here would be a start. I guess if I put a kind of a, a like what I have going over here um, at, at that new oil line that I set up right here like this seems to be working just great. And it could be that we just don't have enough vehicles going through here to really cause problems. But where I've got, like, each one of them has their own little individual road to get over to where they're going. But then if I had, like, five times as many vehicles going through there, it probably wouldn't, uh, probably wouldn't work as well. How about, let's, let's take a look at, um, let's go back over to this area. Let's take a look at these vehicles that are heading towards town. Are they carrying... See, like, they're not full. So I could probably get rid of some of them. Like that one. And that one. You know what I mean? Like, if you're leaving and you're not full, that means that we're... We just have trucks on the road that don't need to be there. Tools? Why are you carrying tools? And so now we're running into that issue, too, where somehow... How am I? I guess what I could do. 
is set up uh, like a, another little hub over here where I drop stuff off. So I have like a line running between here dropping stuff off. And like this line drops its stuff off here and then goes back up here. And then we have train trucks that go out from this hub over here to deliver to Skellington. Which could which would reduce the, the demand for the traffic on that road. I think that's gonna be the way to go. Um, so let's figure out how we're gonna do that. I think probably like along this road would be the right way to do it. Um, no, that's not what I want to do. This is what I want to do. I'm going to do that. We're going to increase the size of you. We'll increase the size of you. And uh, then we will do a large country road. Nope. We'll lay it down. Lay down a large country road like this. Connect you up over here. Connect you up. Hmm, how are we going to connect you up over here? So we need to be near the train station. Um, we'll just run it across on a bridge like this. There we go. That is insane, but who cares? All right, so well, uh, move my hand to where I'm using the correct keys. All right, so then this one's going to come over, and it's going to kind of connect up to to here. We're not going to be able to pull that off of there. Um, but uh, that will replace these two stations, I think. We can leave the drop-off thing at a bus stop, and that'll be fine. Um, we're going to need a couple of uh, depots over here. Uh, just to avoid any sort of congest, or you know, what I mean, I'm not really going to be able to avoid any congestion. But how about we set them up more properly, though? Like, like this. We have one there. And then we can put the regular depot there. And then maybe the other depot, like have one there. And if we go like one depot right here. I don't really want to have the traffic like that. So this should be okay, I would think, if I can get it to get it to connect in there. All right, let's put that one there. We'll put this one like right there. I can go ahead and delete that. And you two connect up, right? Okay. And then we'll have that one there. And you connect up to that one, right? Looks like they do. All right. So we'll bring stuff from over here and drop it off here. This one will pick up and deliver out. This one will pick up and deliver out. And there's going to be all sorts of traffic. Uh, but see, that's the whole point is we're trying to avoid traffic snarls, right? And this is going to cause all sorts of traffic snarls too. All right, I need to think this through. So I'm going to uh, do that between episodes, and we'll see if we can we'll see if I can solve this. Oh, what a mess! All right, guys, uh, this has been uh, this has been interesting. Um, and uh, you know, of course, if you have any thoughts, uh, I'd love to hear them. Um, but unless you get those thoughts in quickly, uh, I mean, actually, uh, I'll probably already have this resolved by the time I post this tomorrow. Uh, but still, I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. And, uh, you know, I mean, if you get them in quickly, maybe it'll make a difference. I could always redo everything that I've just done here. We've got basically unlimited funds at this point, so I'm not too concerned about that. Um, but I do want to hear what you have to say. 
Uh, thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you watching on a regular basis and uh, uh, all of that stuff. And I hope you'll continue to do so. Um, I hope uh, you've enjoyed watching and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.